Hello, a warm welcome. My name is Christina Teot and I'm currently on the way to Saqqara and uh, to the Serapium. Traffic here is really solid, so um, it's gonna take us a while. <clears throat> That's typical for Egypt. Let me see if I can show you. Luckily we will not have this kind of situation very often on our tour, on our journey through the heart and soul of Egypt. We arrived at Saqqara, so behind me you can see the step pyramid and its complex. I'm going to make my way first to uh, the Serapium. I'm going to show you a little bit around. Yes, as you can see, we are in the middle of the beautiful, beautiful Egyptian desert. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> the Serapium is, by the way, we have to go that way. Yep. And I will be taken by my driver. You can see the bus, our bus. And because it's early in the morning, it's not crowded yet. Here we are at the Serapium, which is that way down. <laughs> I love this place and the energy here feels... Let me think, let me feel the energy. Well, I can tell you that my heart is beating faster and um, my feet are tingling and there is an excitement about this place. That's how I perceive it anyway. <laughs> so that little house down there, you can see, um, <clears throat> that's the entrance to the Serapium. I've walked about 100 or 150 meter and um, I can perceive and feel a slight pressure uh, on my heart. <laughs> that's, that's the energy of this place. That's how I react to the energy of this place. So back there you can see other pyramids. And all this is still part of the Giza Plateau. So here we are, um, walking towards the Serapium entrance. As I mentioned, <laughs> I was allowed <clears throat> to sit on the floor near this huge, enormous um, black granite sarcophagus and I had again a very intense physical experience. Um, it's, I felt like my whole body was tingling like um, with electricity. My heart was pounding really strongly and I could feel my heart beat just about in every cell of my body. I um, felt um, an energy coming from the sarcophagus, but also coming from outside um, of our solar system, uh, actually coming from the center of our galaxy. And the incoming vibration I perceived made my clothes um, crunch, cr crunch, it's like a crunchy noise. 
um, <clears throat> or it, sometimes like when you wear something synthetic and it's it's um, it gives off electricity. <laughs> you see, I'm spaced out a little bit, um, so the words don't come that easy. Um, and I felt this energy, this vibration um, coming into me. I can't even say down because it wasn't down. It just came into me and it flooded my whole being and it went through me. It went into earth um, and through earth and into our solar system and back back to where it came from. And, and it was like a spin. It, it, it was moving in spirals and spinning at the same time. Um, funnily enough, I didn't um, see clairvoyantly any colors, any specific colors. It was just this feeling of peace that um, I, I had in, within myself. So that's, I think that's the feeling I want to share with you. This infinite universal peace which can also be interpreted as love universal love and and then i had like i had a feeling of sitting in a library um and so much knowledge and so much information within the walls of this tunnel system and within the the rocks um within the granite of these huge really huge i call them boxes i prefer boxes then they don't really feel like uh, a tomb or a sarcophagus to me so I hope, I hope I can transmit this beautiful, beautiful feeling of peace and of love. I have just been at the Serapium and now I'm, I'm gonna go inside the temple complex of Saqqara. This is a healing temple, so I'm really curious to see what it does to me today. Okay. So here I am again. <laughs> Um, uh, obviously I was grabbed by a, a guide here um, who showed me around and talked to me about the structures, talked to me about the history of um, the pyramid, the step pyramid and the grounds and about Imhotep and who was the architect and engineer. And um, I listened to him for a while, I gave him a little tip and then I asked him to leave me alone so I could sit and just feel the energy here because um, that's what um, our journey through the heart and soul of Egypt is going to be about. It's very nice and it's interesting to, to listen to the guides, to their stories and it supports you in understanding a place, a site, better. But um, for me, it, it's important to have the space and the time just to feel. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm feeling Egypt. So how do I feel about this place? It's. The energy is very different from just a mile from here, from the Serapium. Um, it feels lighter, um, but at the same time, it's quite intense. And um, like last time I came here in October, and it just um, makes me makes me feel. Um, like a little bit tired but not in an exhausted way it's um 
it's like a, it gives you a relaxing feeling and after the intense experience in the Serapium <clears throat> to come here um, really is like jumping dimensions <laughs> so that's what I wanted to share with you <clears throat> and so make you understand a little bit better what I mean with um, feeling and experiencing multi-dimensional ancient Egypt okay <laughs> I hope you enjoyed um, the sharing of my experience of visiting Saqqara and the Serapium today. If you want to experience this truly multidimensional place um, with me and you want to know more about the journey through the heart and soul of Egypt, go to my website, um, christinateod.com slash Egypt, where you will find all the details of the tour, the sites we're going to visit, you will find the prices and all the information you need. If you have any more questions, do not hesitate to contact me. I look forward to connect with you soon and until then I'm sending you all my love from beautiful, beautiful land of Egypt. Bye.